Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning e-commerce theme development tutorial. This is our part number 20. Inside this video session guys, we are going to install e-commerce to our WordPress setup. In the last video sessions, we have completely discussed about the basic principle to develop a custom theme inside WordPress as well as we had discussed about the complete lectures about creating pages templates. Now we are going to move across our WooCommerce development. So for the first step of WooCommerce, we need to install WooCommerce inside this WordPress. If we want to actually implement all the functionality of WooCommerce, then we need to install a plugin and do about the several changes. So first of all, if you go to plugin section, click on add new and one more thing that if you are interested to actually learn about WooCommerce document, this is the WordPress org plugin URL and inside this URL, you can find all about the document of WooCommerce. So this is the plugin what we are going to download and set inside WordPress. As we know that there are several ways to install a plugin inside WordPress, so you can either download and that sound download zipped folder you can import inside this WordPress setup and upload that. But we are going to search here from this WordPress repository and like all these plugins, we are going to click on install and activate. So simply, if I copy the plugin name, go here, paste inside this search box it will go and search inside this WordPress repository and it is now find all about WooCommerce and here we have a button called install now. So if I click on install now, as we can see that it is now installing about WooCommerce plugin to our WordPress setup. It will take few minutes or let's say few seconds. So be connected to the internet and wait for a while for its complete installation. And as we can see that successfully we have installed WooCommerce. Now next, we need to click on this activate button to activate this plugin to or for this WordPress setup. So what I will do, click on activate button. After activating of this WooCommerce plugin, it will go to our let's say WooCommerce setup wizard. In that wizard, we can fill some forms like WooCommerce settings. It will generate some pages like cart swap let's say our checkout and our account page but right now we are not interested to go with that wizard we will set all the woocommerce settings in upcoming videos so for now i'm going to skip this wizard so click on not right now it will go at the dashboard and here it is after installation of WooCommerce, we can find that several menus automatically now added inside this WordPress, something with the name of WooCommerce, Products, Analytics, as well as Marketing. Inside this WooCommerce, we will do all the settings all about, let's say, WooCommerce basic settings, all about our like template overriding settings, as well as we can see inside the submenus like orders, coupons, customers and several settings we have inside this WooCommerce. Now inside this products tab, we can create our new products. Also, we can import our dummy products as well for this WooCommerce. This is a store. Inside this online store, this is the product section. So from this tab, we can manage about the products for this store. Here we have the analytics about let's revenue, orders, products this is all about analytics and here we have the marketing section so let's say that if we go inside this woocommerce first and before that if we go inside this pages section op open into a new tab and here inside this pages section we don't see actually any page of woocommerce while installing WooCommerce, it will generate some pages when we go inside that setup wizard. But as we know that we have escaped, so don't worry at all, we are going to create from this WooCommerce settings panel. So what I will do, check these pages first. These are the pages what we have developed up to previous video sessions. So go inside WooCommerce, 
click on status and inside this WooCommerce status if I scroll down several informations we can find inside this so here also we can find all about if I search let's say for create pages or simply let's say pages so here let's say that WooCommerce pages and as we can see that saw base page not set page not set page not set it means that these are the pages WooCommerce default generates when we go its installation wizard but we have escaped so is there any way to generate these pages again yes we have inside this status sub menu we need to go instead of this system status to tools so click on that and inside this tool section we will have the menu something or link which is going to create our default pages so go inside this and here we can find that is create default WooCommerce pages now if we click on create pages it has now successfully generated the WooCommerce missing pages to our WordPress setup go inside this pages section reload this link and inside this we can find all about the pages of this cart check out my account privacy policy so this is the actually this is our WordPress page not so WooCommerce page and here we have a shop page so we have now a cart check out my account and shop so default four pages of WooCommerce successfully we have installed and activated inside our WordPress setup now if I make some zoom as we know that inside our theme development the custom theme what we have so this is simple bootstrap theme we are using click on menus and inside this menus we are going to add this swap page inside this menu if I open our site into here and one more thing that is after installation of WooCommerce plugin here we have two links all about visit site and all about visit store when we click on this link it is going to open swap page into the URL so we want that is this page should be handled by means of adding a menu right here and as we can see that this page is using the default fallback file something called index.php because we don't have any specific template for this file so we will handle all these things in upcoming videos now right now we are going to add a menu item inside this if I copy this URL open a private window pasting it here so right now here we don't have any swap page URL so what I will do go inside here click on swap page let's add to menu and let's say after about we want this swap page click on save menu go inside our front end reload this page and here we have a home about this is a WooCommerce page called shop services and contact so if we click on this page so right now we don't have any products inside this so we will do all the product setting in the next video so inside this video session guys successfully we have actually installed WooCommerce plugin to our WordPress setup as well as we have created its default pages so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day